Hi everyone, I'm back with the guinea pig and hedgehog cage tours. So we're actually outside in my back porch. And um, again, they're going to be moved inside once we move to the house on the first. But they're under this concrete ceiling, so it does stay pretty cool under here. And I also provide them with frozen water bottles and a fan that is not connected right now because it's not that hot today. So, um, this is the guinea pig enclosure. So it's equivalent to a 2x5 CNC cage, and it's basically a tabletop that we built from uh, by hand with closet racks as the walls, and the back wall is a piece of plywood and then um, has a, a linoleum tile kind of thing. So the linoleum was used for the back and the the base of the cage. So we got our garlands here, our bows, and then right down below is pebbles. So I'm going to start on the top because it's very difficult for me to get up and down, so we'll work our way down to pebbles. So inside the cage on this side, we have their hay and their Christmas hay bag, and um, which is gingerbread men, I don't know if you can see it, and their two water bottles, and um, all of the fleece items, aside from the fleece houses, were made by me, so we have a, a one by two pee, pee pad here, has our donut fleece on the other side, and we have snowmen on the rest, and there are their frozen water bottles there, and they can use them to puddle with, and just roll them around on the floor. These are great for keeping piggies cool during the summer. I just put them in there um, a few minutes ago. So, and then back there we have our fleece tunnel, and that has been in actually all of our videos. That was from Pee Wee's Piggy Palace um, last year. So I just keep it in there. It seems to be a favorite. And then on this side of the cage, everyone's pretty much lounging today, so we have Cleo on this side, Hippie, who is in here, and Duchess is in the castle. You, I don't, you can't see her at all, but <laughs> she is here. So this is the castle that came in from the last Twilight Chinchillas order. And um, this was actually one of the broken items. I don't know if you could see that line, but this pretty much fell off in transport. Um, but I told her it's not a big deal. She didn't have to replace that one. I would just glue it back together because it was a, such a small break and it didn't bother me. So, um, yeah. and then we have Cleo over here lounging. And we keep our cleaning supplies up here in the castle. And we do have a new piggy that I was yet to introduce to you guys, and her name is S'mores. She's actually inside of the um, fleece tunnel there. And she was a rescue from my sister's house, actually. So um, we brought her over when we saw how poor the conditions um, were that she was living in, and my niece just really wasn't taking care of her anymore. She's an American crested guinea pig, so she has like a little toupee looking wig hairdo okay there we go we got her out turning around there she is so she's such a cutie and um, there's duchess striking a pose oops so um that is pretty much it for the cage tour this uh for the uh, the guinea pig cage tour it's um it looks small in the video, but it's not. I can't explain it. It's like zoomed, so pretty much it just looks a little bit tinier. And that is that. So heading down below, we have Pebbles' in the tank. So she is back in a 20-gallon tank, which I plan on getting her a 40-gallon or possibly upgrading her to a CNC cage um, when we move. I still have some CNC grids, so that would probably be the cheapest way to go. Um, but I definitely do want to upgrade her. 
but as I said, we had to leave everything behind in Boston, so we had to start over from scratch, and that included getting her a new cage and them a new cage. So, yep. So she has a um, little snowman in the back, and it says Happy Holidays, and her Carolina Storm bucket wheel. Her food and her little castle from Twilight Chinchillas. That was actually a really cute buy. I'll probably get her another one that's more for everyday use. It was actually for an under the sea theme that I was doing. But, um, I never got around to filming that one. But she's in there and she's very cranky right now because it's daytime. So I won't take her out. But, um, yeah, it's pretty pretty simple, which is why I haven't really shown you guys her, her tank yet. There wasn't really much to see. Um, I wasn't happy that we downsized again because she was in a 40 gallon when we were in Boston. So I kind of wanted to keep it that way, but um, money was kind of tight when I moved down here. So we had to um, kind of do it with uh, what, we, what we had um, and what we could get. So, for now that everything's kind of back to normal, and we're getting a house and everything, um, I will go ahead and build her probably a 2x2 two two CNC cage. Seems like a pretty good size. So that is what's being kept in mind. And under, she'll probably be um, kept under here, even in the new house. Um, it's really nice and shady. She does have her heating pad. Um, I did turn it off though because it's not that hot as I said today. Um, but that's pretty much it for the cage tours. I just wanted to uh, kind of give you guys an update of what's happening, why I've been gone, and uh, to show you what we have essentially is what I was trying to do here. But hopefully we'll be back to our normal videos at some point in mid-January. That's like the guess. Um, and I'm hoping to invest in a camera because hauling this laptop around is not ideal, not fun, and it's really hard to film. So um, maybe I'll gift that to myself in the new year. We'll see. So anyways, guys, um, thank you guys so much for a great year. Again, we've had so many subscriptions in actually the last few weeks, so that's been really, that's made me really happy, even though... I've been absent. I do check on here. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you want to see a video um, <clears throat> that I have not made yet, feel free to comment it below and we will schedule some, some new videos for the new year. So happy holidays everybody, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, and we'll see you guys next year. Alrighty, bye!